I don't know if I'm doing the underground. Oh, Happy New Year. I don't know if I'm doing the underground challenge right. And I followed the destructions. <laughs> I named it what I wanted to name it so I could find it pretty easy. Uh, let's see. The seed is 40. We play on hardcore. There's a schedule of when you turn in videos. That's why I'm rushing this one. I'd rather not rush it because I'm very tired. But I'm handing this one in because it's supposed to be on today and then there's supposed to be another one tomorrow. I keep trying to do these hardcore challenges and things get in the way and stuff happens and still having a few laggy issues. I'm playing this in 1.8, not 1.8.1. And I'm playing with OptiFine. So here's Spawn. Ta da! There's a big old hole right there. And the challenge this time is you take six logs of wood. See, there's the hole. That's where we're going in. And you cover yourself up and go down to diamond level. I'm allowed to take three saplings of my choice. I tried to take one of each kind, but I only found these two guys. I was hoping there might be something like a spruce around, but I never found one. So we're only allowed three saplings. We're allowed six blocks of wood, not planks, blocks of wood. If it had been planks, I wouldn't have made it. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, and 12 seeds. Now, Michael Deering, when he made the video, said seeds of any kind. And, of course, I found grass seeds. But I found something else. And I took them down. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Frankly, I'm so glad I got them. I don't care. Okay, I'm a... Oh, I wish I could have taken that wolf. You know... Shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna do some stuff, and I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just gonna turn on some music and see people talk to you. For me, the preferred default wood is always going to be oak. When I started out, it was the only kind of tree there was. And, of course, oaks now drop apples for some reason. I don't know why apple trees don't. Anyway, I'm not going to argue about that. But So, oak is always going to be my default wood. Under normal circumstances, not these. It's not normal. So, oh, that wolf wants to be my friend. Under normal circumstances, the oak would stay as logs, and the birch would be, if I have some kind of weird wood to try to save space in my inventory, I'll always bust it up into six. This was the best idea I ever had. I went over here because there was a lot of grass out in the open, and I figured nobody would jump me. Oh, I should tell you, in these challenges, you're not allowed to hurt or kill animals or cause them to die in some way. Like, oh, oops, you accidentally fell in a ravine. You know, that kind of stuff. You're not allowed to do that kind of stuff. I don't know why. I guess they think it's too easy. But no killing animals for their drops and so on and so forth. So food is pretty much whatever you find, you know. Rotten flesh, spider eyes. Uh, grass, potatoes, wheat, potatoes, we call them carrots. 
uh, melon. Mm. And then I figured something out. Mm. You can make pumpkin pie. Oh, you can drink milk, but you don't get any nutritional value. Um, I was just coming over here mowing the lawn mostly, and there's a nice little hill there, and I thought, well, that'll give me a good so I can get this a what you call it, tree? Plus, there's exposed stone here. I'm thinking, hmm. Oh. Oh, so, do you see any spruce trees? Because I didn't. I'm just wandering around looking at this. Now, there is a swamp, and then look. Yeah! Uh-huh. Yes, I'm using OptiFine. I'm not apologizing. I don't know if it's allowed. I don't care. I need to be able to see. So I will work with an 8-bit texture pack. Well, that and the fact that I can't use. I mean, you know, the, you know, the FPS is such a problem. So I just mowed my way on over and got the pumpkin. Uh... I don't know why I took a bunch of pumpkins, because... Uh, I can't take them with me. I can't take pumpkins. I can take 12 combined seeds, you know. And most of those should be wheat, because unless I get really lucky, there's not going to be any eggs down in the basement. And there's certainly not. I can't take sugar cane. So I'm not going to be able to make pumpkin pie. You know what I'm saying? So we'll just do the axe thing and get some pumpkins. But I'm glad I did, because I can use sugar cane and I can use eggs up here and I ended up making me some pumpkin pies to eat which I hardly ever do in regular Minecraft but everything was just laying there because the chickens have been around for five minutes so they you know laid eggs and you saw the sugar cane and stuff so I was good to go now I don't like my Minecraft being influenced by other people's stuff that's a big problem for me, because when I start trying to act like other people, things get messed up. Have you noticed this? Like with Minecraft Bingo and so on. It's not good for me to try to imitate or follow the influences of other people. One of the reasons why I'm such an original builder is because I never watched Minecraft YouTube videos. Not for over two years. Now, with a challenge like this, I think the way the culture of this little community works is that people watch each other's videos while they're in the middle of these challenges, and it can influence gameplay because, well, if so-and-so went over to the big tree by the water, then maybe I should too, because they dug straight down and found a diamond, so I will too, and, you know, um... I want to be surprised. I don't want to be influenced by what other people do. I want to do it myself. Especially since, hopefully, this is the first successful one I've done. Now, uh, I need you to know that I have filmed the entire thing in advance. You're only seeing the first day's worth of video. But I went ahead and did it because of several reasons. I can't read the GUI thing in the game even at large easily there is a timer when you have F3 on there is a timer so you can tell when one day ends and another begins this day by the way is considered day zero your very first Minecraft day is day zero so this is sort of an intro episode day one I will post a video tomorrow because you're supposed to first day of the month and then on Fridays and I forget what the other day of the week is People post videos. It has to run continuously. You're not allowed to turn the camera off. And I knew I'd screw up the timer and stuff, and I wasn't going to mess with it. So I just filmed the entire Minecraft Hardcore in one sitting this afternoon. I'm going to need this. Well, you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to use the sand to plug up the hole in the hole. I'm covering the hole with dirt. Mostly. The big hole over there. And then I'm using the sand to drop down. There's a big cavern in there. And I'm dropping the sand down to where it turns to stone. So that I'll have a way to dig down later.
I don't know how other people play. I stopped watching MHC Minecraft hardcore videos because I was so discouraged and so uh, demoralized by the fact that, you know, I was having issues with connectivity and lag, and I'm even having lag and issues with this one. I still don't know why. Remember that first time I tried to play and I died the first day because I just couldn't move. Well, uh, apparently they changed the rule now and you can't die on the first day. So if you die on the first day, you just restart. I didn't die, but I do have some laggy stuff. You see, I'm getting a little jerky right now. Uh, and some of it doesn't make sense because some of it is in chunks I've already loaded. You see, I haven't really gone far from spawn. There's no point fighting City Hall. Minecraft doesn't run well for me. I don't know why. Now I'm just gathering eggs and sugar. And you see it's getting dark. Now what Michael Deering did was he went back to spawn. He covered up the hole with dirt. And he dropped sand down the central little donut. Built himself a little structure and He'd made tools and stuff so we could, you know, you're allowed to prep. This is the prep day. But I'm not taking any of these tools and stuff down with me. I can't take food with me, nothing. So what he did was he just stood there. Now you see it's already getting dark with me. And I'm out here where the cooties can whoop me and all that junk. And I'm finally getting back to spawn. I was so busy, I didn't really have any time to uh, do nothing. Yeah, I think I got myself. Yeah, I got myself an orchid because some of you know why. So, I guess by now Michael Deering was standing in the hole, and he cut it out because he said, "Well, this is ten minutes of me standing in the hole, and that's boring." But uh, I went ahead and filmed because, like I said, turning a timer on and off. I used to have an external timer, and it cheated like a bird. But I can't figure out how to put it on the new computer. And I was having issues getting it to set and stay set at the times I wanted anyway. Um, it's mostly a stopwatch. And it's really hard to get it to. It's hard to coordinate turning on the recorder, the game, and the timer all at the same time and having them come out the same. And of course I have to have it make a noise. That little bird noise or cuckoo or whatever. And that's disruptive to the video. And I can't see it while I'm playing the game. So timing things is really hard. I really love it that Brian with the Minecraft bingo has put a timer on it now so that I don't have to drive myself crazy trying to figure out what the heck time it is. You know what I mean? It just automatically tweets and um, shoots off firework when you hit 20 minutes. I'm just kind of spoiled by that, actually. I know, I've got way too much sugar, way too many eggs, way too many pumpkins. I know, it's overkill. Look, I've got like, what, did I lose one haunch? Maybe one in part of one haunch? I panicked. I have all the pumpkins. Might as well make the pumpkin pies, right? So he did something like this, and he had a crafting table and a... I don't know why he had a chest, but he had a chest. I guess to put his extra junk in, I just threw mine out. Uh, I just threw it out there into the world, you know. It was kind of hard to do because it kept coming back to my inventory. But I finally got it all thrown out. So I did put a torch just on top. I know cooties aren't supposed to spawn right around me. But, you know, ten minutes of me standing in the dark looking out a hole. going to be pretty dismal without a torch. And if mobs are going to spawn. Actually, I was kind of worried about putting the torch. You know why? There's a hole down there. I mean, it's a cavern. And if I've got light up here, then they're going to be spawning even worse down there. And especially since I've plugged that hole. Oh, God, I wish the chicken or that wolf or something would have fallen down that hole and lived. It would have just been nice to have some company, you know? So I filmed the whole thing today, and I'll be putting up 
it's a day night cycle so it's 20 minutes 10 minutes day 10 minutes night I'll be putting them up with the regular schedule with everybody else on the challenge thing they're a pretty big community of people that have been doing this for a long time some, some of them do it on multiplayer servers together of course I don't have anybody really to play with and I don't have my server anymore so I can't do that but, you know, it's my first time out. Well, I tried that other time, but you know what happened there. That dark oak, that dark oak forest, I didn't stand a chance. Not even. So I was thinking that what I could do was uh, post some just fun pictures because it's going to get pretty boring. Sitting here looking at me, just doing not much. So I don't know if I will or not, but... We're 15 minutes and 58 seconds in, 16 minutes in. There's only four minutes of video left anyway. But I could put some music and show y'all some pictures up in the corner. I would like to tell you some stories, but since I'm doing this, I don't want to add pictures. You know why? I'm so blooming tired. Uh, this took how many hours to record this? It's nine. Is it nine days or ten? I don't know. I recorded ten days just to be careful because I forgot. By the time I started playing it, I forgot. And, of course, I can't turn the video on and listen to it or watch it because it'll, you know, mess up the game sounds. There'll be sounds of the YouTube video. So I couldn't open up the... I'm, besides, I'm, if I try to open a browser when I'm trying to play Minecraft... Plus, it's hardcore. I don't want to be looking in another window when I'm trying to play this. <laughs> Random passing chicken. I'm trying to figure out how to throw my junk away without it going down the hole, because that would be cheating. You know? See, that's the hole. I don't want to put that in the hole. So, somehow I did it, because I ended up not picking it up when I went down the sand. But... <laughs> Then I finally just get brave and say to heck with it. I gotta walk out there. If somebody clobbers me, somebody clobbers me, right? That pumpkin pie's got some saturation in it, dude. I stayed loaded up on pumpkin pie for quite some time. Of course, if you're real careful not to jump and hop, you know. Uh, I learned that from Brian. You know, he's playing that um, Lorgum 111. He's playing that, um, what's it called? It's one of his exploration and tactics where he's not allowed to jump. Space barred. He deactivated his space bar. He can't jump. He can't swim. And so he's using slabs and stairs and stuff around. And, of course, that's a brilliant tactic when you're on hardcore so you don't lose so much um, um, food. People call it hunger, but you want to lose hunger. You know what I mean? So it's very complicated. Anyway, so... It keeps your tummy more full for a longer time if you don't hop and jump and run and kill things. In fact, I'm a little surprised how much running around I did while well, I was walking around. But how much I got done without losing very much um, tummy at all. You know? One meat pop isn't much, really. So now I just stand here and stare out the holes for two minutes. I wish I had a fun story to tell you, but Lord, I'm tired. Ooh, I'm so tired. Y'all catch my Minecraft bingo video? I'm very proud of the way I edited that. I'm also proud of the fact that I took one of the hardest items on the map and crafted it to finish my bingo. Not a good time, but that'll come. That'll come. You know, it's kind of odd that I didn't see any cooties. I almost turned the stars off because I figured who needs them. I'm going to be on the ground. Then I remembered I'm going to be sitting here for 10 minutes. Well, it wasn't really 10 minutes because it took me so long to do stuff. I don't know why we're supposed to sit here for 10 minutes, I guess, so the mobs can collect under us, but it seems to me it's a radius, and whether you're way up high or way down low, no, mobs can spawn above you or below you, that's true. As long as they're a certain number of blocks away from you. And I don't 
think that cavern's quite... I don't think the floor of that cavern's quite deep enough. You can see the sun coming up now. So, I don't think it was quite deep enough for much to spawn right underneath. See, that's... I'm showing you where the day thing turns. I'll be going in my inventory in a minute. And then when I come out of my inventory, it will be day one. Now, I don't know if I did this right. I don't know what right means. You know, I tried to follow the instructions. So we'll just see. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Remember, I'd hug you. But my arms don't bend. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.